What if trading just three minutes of strolling for three minutes of brisk strides could slash your blood pressure, raise your good cholesterol, and leave you less breathless after a flight of stairs, all within five months? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and together we'll uncover how interval walking training turns ordinary walks into a powerful health tool. I'm Alara Skye and my passion is translating complex natural health research into simple actions you can use today. Let's start by defining exactly what interval walking training, or IWT, asks of you. Picture a walk broken into six-minute cycles. You ease along for three minutes at a pace where conversation flows, then push for three minutes with longer strides that make your calves tighten slightly. Repeat those pairs until you've logged 20, 30, or even 60 fast minutes across your week. Researchers first tested that rhythm at Shinshu University in Japan. They found that alternating intensities stimulates muscle fibers, much like resistance training, but without the joint strain of running or weights. The approach quickly expanded because anyone who can walk can try it. No devices beyond a simple timer are required. A pooled review of multiple trials shows why the method spread. After five months of consistent IWT, Participants' aerobic capacity, measured as VO2 max, rose about 10%. That jump means your heart and lungs move oxygen more efficiently, so daily tasks feel easier and you recover faster from exertion. Blood pressure improved just as impressively. Average systolic values dropped around 9 millimeters of mercury and diastolic about 5, numbers comparable to certain first-line drugs but without side effects. For many listeners, that reduction alone lowers the lifetime odds of heart attack or stroke in a tangible way. IWT also sharpens the way your muscles handle sugar. Studies tracking older adults and people with insulin resistance found better glucose effectiveness. That is, your muscles absorbed sugar without calling heavily on insulin. If you're edging toward prediabetes, this subtle shift can keep fasting numbers from creeping higher. The benefit springs from the repeated contrast between effort and recovery. Each fast burst temporarily empties stored energy. Then the slow phase lets your cells refill without fatigue. That cycle increases mitochondrial activity, similar to light resistance work, while remaining gentle enough for sore joints or limited mobility. Real-world adherence still matters. In one home-based study, only about 40% of participants hit the full 60 fast minutes per week yet even partial compliance raised HDL cholesterol and reduced liver fat. The takeaway is clear. Doing some intervals beats doing none, and improvement scales with consistency. The data highlight who benefits most. Older adults and individuals already facing metabolic challenges, such as type 2 diabetes, gain the largest boosts in aerobic fitness and blood sugar control. For these groups, ANGWT functions as a low-cost intervention that fits between daily tasks without specialized supervision. Getting started is straightforward. Begin with a brief warm-up of calf, hamstring, and hip stretches. Launch into three minutes of conversational strolling. Next, lengthen your stride so your heel strikes first. Swing bent arms at right angles and aim for a tempo that makes speaking in full sentences difficult but still possible. Maintain that brisk rhythm for three minutes, then ease back. Alternate these segments for 20 to 30 minutes per session. Spread sessions through the week until your cumulative fast time reaches at least one hour. If joints protest, shorten intervals, but keep the contrast. Adaptation arrives quickly. When researchers compared IWT with the popular 10,000-step target, the interval group's systolic pressure fell four times more and diastolic two and a half times more. The lesson. Intensity cycling, not step count alone, delivers outsized cardiovascular gains. Physical perks extend beyond numbers. The same study recorded a 12% rise in hamstring strength, a 50% drop in depressive symptoms, and a 12% improvement in sleep efficiency. Participants even reported fewer colds, suggesting immune resilience improves alongside fitness. That said, broad movement still matters. Cardiologist James O'Keefe points to a sweet spot around 10,000 steps per day, over about 12,000, 
benefits plateau. You can merge goals by letting intervals compose part of your daily tally, keeping volume moderate while injecting the intensity your physiology craves. Once the routine feels easy, add challenge by wearing a light-weighted vest or trying Nordic walking poles. Extra load or upper body engagement nudges heart rate higher without sacrificing joint safety. Increase gradually and keep posture tall to avoid unnecessary strain. If motivation dips, recruit a friend, a dog, or a favorite podcast. Social connection and mental stimulation heighten adherence and amplify mood benefits. The movement is the same. Layering community or creativity makes the habit stick. Remember that IWT demands no gym, no subscription, and minimal time. Barriers tend to be planning and reminder systems, not physical capacity. Setting a calendar alert or pairing intervals with an existing errand often converts intention into action. So, you alternate three relaxed minutes with three purposeful ones. Target 60 brisk minutes each week. And watch for measurable changes in fitness, blood pressure, glucose, mood, and sleep. Each interval is a vote for stronger mitochondria and steadier energy. Whether you're beginning a fitness journey or refining a seasoned routine, IWT slots neatly beside daily life. Your future self benefits from minutes you invest today. No gadgets, no guesswork, just disciplined alternation. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, schedule two interval walks and log the minutes you spend in the faster segments. Hit 60 by week's end, notice how you feel, and build from there. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.